All right, all right, all right. So I'm actually kind of interested in this topic because I feel like the One Piece community, specifically on social media, is so convoluted with their ideas on this character that it's almost impossible to even have a logical debate with people because a lot of it is agenda and it's hard to differentiate who is speaking with true logic based on feats and who is just making stuff up and pulling stuff out of thin air because they really like the character and they want to push the agenda now hey there's nothing wrong with pushing agendas i think it's hilarious you'll see people like jd legend on twitter ranting saying a bunch of stuff about this guy you might see brago saying a few things you know on his top 30 or saying a few things on twitter but i want to give my ideas on how strong i think katakuri is today but before we go any further, make sure that if you guys like this video, leave a like. And if you want more One Piece content like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Let's get into the video. So Katakuri is a special character, right? Because his fight with Luffy was so one-sided until he actually lost. And the way that he lost is so up to interpretation that it just makes his actual combat prowess very difficult to gauge. Specifically since it says he's undefeated until Luffy gets there. <sighs> There's a lot to fall back on with people who want to say that Katakuri is very strong and I'm not mad at those people that feel that way. Now what has started this whole conversation in case you're not aware is the Zoro and King fight. So Zoro gets done defeating King and of course because of that Zoro fans are saying okay the way that he defeated King it seemed like a mid diff once he got the Conqueror's coding and figured King's ability out you know with the whole flame in flame off. Because of him being able to beat this YC1 this way, they feel like Zoro is able to beat another YC1 by the name of Katakuri. Now, of course, Katakuri fans don't want to admit this because they like Katakuri. And more specifically, the Luffy fans don't want to admit this because this would mean that Zoro is stronger than Luffy at Whole Cake Island, which would make them kind of comparable. My problem with that argument and that agenda is that Luffy has grown tremendously since Whole Cake Island. Not only has he learned Ryo and Udon, he's also learned how to use Conqueror's coding and he is fighting Kaido 1v1 on the roof. There's no way that guys are like, oh, Zoro was like right behind Luffy. It's just, it's not the case. And by a lot of people's top 30s, most people have Zoro around like 20, 19, 18 and Luffy around the top 10. That's a lot of spaces. So I don't really understand the agenda. This isn't going to make Zoro super close to Luffy just because he's comparable or stronger than the Luffy at Whole Cake Island. That Luffy at Whole Cake Island would get low diffed by the current Luffy. So I never really understood that whole argument. Then there are some people that just truly believe Katakuri stronger. And I'm not mad at those people because he has Future Sight. Future Sight is a very, very like potent ability. I mean, I think that Advanced Conquerors is better than Future Sight, but some people will disagree because they feel like Future Sight is more rare because we only know of two confirmed people to use Future Sight. And that's fine, but Kaido, King of the Beast, has stated that only the strong of the strong have Advanced Conquerors, and last time I checked, Katakuri doesn't have that. We also know from how many punches Katakuri landed on Luffy and how many punches Luffy landed on Katakuri, I believe, Luffy landed like 10 or 11, Katakuri landed, pff, I don't even know, a million, I, 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 I really can't count, that it doesn't seem like Katakuri's packing a huge of a punch. Now, when you say that, well, most people will rebuttal and say, I don't think it's that Katakuri's weak, I just think that Luffy is durable and he has a strong will and that's why he could take so many hits. That's fine, I, 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 that's fine, we can just believe that. But to me, it looks like Katakuri deals damage, but not quite enough damage to put Luffy down because when we see Luffy not too long after this and Curry fighting Kaido, Luffy gets one shot by Kaido. And now later on, on the rooftop, Luffy and the other supernova are getting hit by Kaido and surviving these hits. So if Katakuri couldn't put Luffy down in that many hits, but Kaido could in one Thunder Bagua, yet we see Kaido and Big Mom on the rooftop hitting the supernova with the multiple attacks and they're surviving, we can say from those two feats that the attack potency of Kaido and Curry with the Thunder Boggle was higher than Katakuri, and now with the feats from the roof that the Supernova are durable enough to take attacks like that, which means Katakuri will not be able to put them down easily. When it comes to durability and attack potency, I don't think we need to have much of a conversation comparing Katakuri to Zoro. Zoro has advanced conquerors, he put down a person like King, and from that we should know that he would also be able to put Katakuri down. His durability is strong enough to take attacks from Yanko, so we know that Katakuri is not going to really be able to put Zoro down. 
Now, the thing that most people argue at this point is like, OK, he can hit hard enough and he can take enough hits, but he won't be able to hit Katakuri. Now, there seems to be three confirmed ways to get around Future Sight. One, you can have Future Sight as well, and you can kind of predict his prediction and you can use your speed with that, which we've seen Luffy do. Two, you can outspeed the Future Sight or three, you can outlast Katakuri until his hockey is depleted. Those are the only three ways that you can defeat Katakuri. Now, for those people saying that, oh, the Yonko can't land a hit on Katakuri, well, you know what they could do? Outlast them. Even if, for some weird reason, even though we've seen Kaido thunder Bagua Luffy with Future Sight, you think that someone like Kaido wouldn't be fast enough to hit Katakuri. And I know that sounds wild that I'm even bringing this up, but people have legitimately been saying this. Even if you believe that, he can most assuredly outlast Katakuri if Katakuri does not have advanced conquerors and he will be able to fight him long enough that his hockey is depleted. He fought Big Mom for three days and literally was fine. That lets me know that he could outlast the Katakuri, so anyone with that type of durability could. So everyone saying that Big Mom or Kaido can't technically hit him, well, we know if you outlast his hockey that you could get him off his game and land hits. So that's kind of out the window already. But let's talk about speed feats. If we know that Kaido is fast enough to hit Luffy with Future Sight, we've seen this, then we should also know that anybody that can react to those attacks or can attack that type of person should be fast enough to do something similar. We've seen Zoro do both, so I don't understand if we've seen Zoro react to Kaido and Big Mom and we've seen him attack Kaido and Big Mom, how was he not fast enough to hit Katakuri? I, I honestly don't understand. And this isn't just about Zoro, but I'm using him because, I mean, that's really the basis of this conversation. Now, something that a lot of people like to bring up is, well, Luffy did hit him through Future Sight, but it was with Black Mamba, which is, you know, his fastest mode. Fine, it is. I agree with you. But you're not going to sit up here and tell me that people that can fight against the Yonko level threats can react to their attacks, block their attacks, hit them, get hit by them, survive the hits, can't be fast enough to hit a first commander. I just refuse to believe that. I feel like anyone that has hit Luffy and Future Sight, <coughs> Kaido, is fast enough. So any character that is hitting him or dodging his hits or reacting to his hits should be able to do the same. So just how strong is Katakuri? Well, <sighs> this is a tough question. His abilities and his kit are deep. I mean, he has a ton of great attacks. He has an awakened devil fruit and he has a special hockey being future sight. Do I believe it's possible he's at a higher level than another YC1? Maybe, but I really believe it'll be kind of like a Marco fight. Marco was very high up on a lot of people's list because he's had a lot of good feats against high tier opponents. But Marco was the type of fighter to fight with attrition and that's due to his devil fruit abilities. He's a regenerative fighter and he's somebody that can take a lot of damage and get back up over and over again. He outlasts his opponents, but he doesn't really have a lot of attack potency. Katakuri is the same, except instead of it being a fight of, oh, I'm going to keep regenerating myself, it's a fight of, I'm going to dodge all of your attacks because my durability isn't that high. His attack potency isn't that great. We have not seen Katakuri deal a crazy amount of damage just due to the amount of hits we've seen against Luffy. We've seen Luffy recently get knocked out twice, both times on Wano, both times by Kaido. The same person that was on the roof fighting the other supernova. Now, I need y'all to keep the same energy that y'all do with Marco because a lot of people are starting to be like, man, Marco don't be doing nothing. He just be flying around. He just be out there flying and surviving. He ain't putting nobody down. Well, Katakuri hasn't either. Katakuri couldn't put Luffy down. He ended up giving up and falling on his back. Now, I'm not trying to disrespect Katakuri, but keep the same energy with Marco. His attack potency isn't the greatest. We know for a fact he can't deal as much damage as the Yonko, and we've seen characters take Yonko attacks this arc. So what is he going to do against somebody that, yeah, sure, they might not be able to hit him at first, but what is he going to do when he's trying to put them down? The same thing that happened with Luffy is going to happen with someone else. You want to know who has a great will to not give up in fights? Zoro, the guy that was in the nothing happened moment. Do you think that if he fought Katakuri, Katakuri is putting him out of his misery? No, Zoro's not going to just give up in the fight. The same thing that happened with Luffy is going to happen in a cat fight. He's going to keep fighting him. Zoro's not going to give up. And eventually Cat's going to be like, eh, and he's going to give up anyway. So if y'all say that's a loss for Luffy, then I mean, I don't know, man. All I'm saying is attack potency isn't that nice. He's not that guy when it comes to attack. I'm just saying. Yeah, he can dodge. He's super fast. He has a crazy kit. But who was he put down? With what attacks? He hit Luffy 48 billion times. 
This is not a category slander video, man. This is just a please wake up. Cause my God. <sighs> Anyways, man, I really love Katakuri. He's one of the coolest characters in One Piece by far. Like, it's not even close. His character arc is awesome. But, man. Now, if he comes back in the story, though, and he has advanced conquerors, though, I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> I'm going to just apologize to y'all. Because if he got advanced conquerors when he comes back, I mean, what am I going to say then? Like, he don't got attack potency. Clearly, he does now. Now, I'm going to be confused because I'm going to be like, well, why didn't he use it against Luffy? Like, why didn't he punch Luffy with it? But, hey, man. I don't know. I guess in closing, I didn't want to break this down with mathematical, spasmodical feats. You feel me? I'm not about to, you know, uh, death battle this, bro. Like, I, I'm just not doing that. But I'm just trying to use logic from what I've seen. And maybe there's something I'm missing. I, I don't know. But of course, I want to know all of your opinions. So make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you feel about Big Cat. You feel me? How strong he is. Also, make sure that you go on that pinned comment. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. And as always, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during these trying times. This has been Sensei Inc. And I will see you all in the next video.